Yo, what up guys? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be going over the brand new hero, Diadia. She's going to be coming out on September 25th and he's already making a headline. She's going to be quite broken. She's going to be one of the best enchanters in the game. And I believe she's going to be above even like Dolia and Dao Chao. So let's see. Let's check her out and let's tell you guys everything you need to know about this hero. Obviously, there's not much like data on it because the chinese server actually just got the hero a month ago but the the pick and ban rates for this hero are literally through the roof so definitely gonna be broken on the global server considering we have less heroes than the chinese server but yeah let's get into it all right so for diadia's passive uh, she has actually a couple of parts to the passive so we're gonna cover all of it but yeah first part is uh, the energy bar if you guys take a look under the health bar you have this energy bar indicating that your enhanced uh, attack is ready the enhanced attack being you knocking back the enemies doing damage to them and falling back which is quite nice it takes a long time to actually you know have this passive back up it takes a couple of seconds for sure but it gets decreased by leveling up and also you are able to use your first and second skill to refresh this so right here i use my second skill and as you guys can see, I get 50% recharge for my passive just by using my second skill. You can use your first skill too, but I'm going to show that later and you guys will learn about it. The second part about this passive is going to be that you're actually able to gain gold from using your first or second skill on enemy or allies. So second skill is aggressive. You pretty much gain gold. And first skill is going to be you healing your allies and you get gold from that too. And how it works is that if your allies are 100% health, you're not going to gain any gold. So right here, not going to gain any gold. But if your allies are below 50%, you're going to gain 20 gold. So right here, let me have him go below 50%. Because you can see plus 20. If your allies are above 50%, but below 100%. So like right here. As you guys can see, you get 10. So if they're 100 from your allies, you get no gold. If they're below 100, you get 10. If they're below 50, you get 20. And hitting your enemies with your second skill doesn't really matter. You get the penalty gourd, which is a part of the second skill. But if you go to them, you're going to gain the 20 gold. Anyways, um, what you can do with the passive is also go over walls. So if there's any terrains, you can easily go over it, which gives diaria a lot of mobility you are able to like just go around the map and you know try to go over walls a lot easier than a lot of other characters which is quite nice but yeah i mean as you guys can tell already uh the passive was a little bit confusing hopefully you didn't get confused but yeah let's clear the map and let's go over the first skill so first skill, it has a bunch of parts to it again. The first part is that whenever you drop your skill on someone, you will heal them. Um, so immediately, the moment you cast it on someone, they will get healed. Like right here, this guy has lower health. Boom, instantly you heal them. If you use this skill again, you're going to dash to them. Heal them again and give them movement speed while you attach yourself to them. If they are full health, you can't really do much. But if you go to them, they will gain the movement speed. And how it works is that you have two charges for this, right? So you can drop it on two different targets. And they will heal. And what happens is that if they meet, they will gain more health. So they will restore more health. And also gain movement speed. Which is quite nice. And here's a video for that. Yeah, 
，贴近后触发两元赐福，再次回复高额生命并加速。Okay, and now if you guys use your first skill just one time on someone and you don't use the second charge, after five seconds, you're immediately gonna get the skill back. So if you don't really want to jump onto someone or if you don't you know want to have two targets meet each other, you can just keep reusing the first skill with literally no cooldown. It's just five seconds that's gonna get refreshed every time, which is quite nice. Alright, that's pretty much it for the first skill. Now we're going to go to the second skill. The second skill is going to be the damage one. So you're able to mark targets that will take damage for the next five seconds and also lose two gold for the next five seconds. At the end of it, that will take even more magic damage and the penalized gold is going to come back to you. So right here, you can see the 10 gold and I will gain 10 gold, which will go to my gold bag. If you hit an enemy in a bush, or if you don't have any vision on them, you will gain vision on them, which is quite nice. So you could put this skill on someone that's running away, trying to hide in a bush, and you're able to gain vision for your team. If you drop this skill on someone and then dash to them instantly, you're gonna go ahead, immobilize them, do a bunch of magic damage, take 25% less damage while you are in the state of immobilizing someone and take 50% less from the person you're immobilizing and at the end of it you will gain 20 gold so this is what makes her broken she's able to do a bunch of damage jump onto someone immobilize them take less damage and gain gold which is quite broken and let's say there's two targets next to each other or if these two targets meet so pretty much like if you guys remember i said the first skill when your teammates meet they will heal gain more movement speed and same thing here uh if these two targets are pretty much like next to each other or walking towards each other they will have less movement speed their movement speed is going to be reduced but they're going to stop taking the damage and they'll just give you the goal instantly and there's a short video for it so let's check it out but yeah, this skill is quite broken again. You are able to close off people, you are able to get a bunch of gold, you are able to do a bunch of damage, and also take reduced damage, which is insane to me. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Diadia uh, first and second skill. And actually, one more thing for the second skill. If you guys get penalty gold, so let's say you get this penalty gold. Once you grab it, you're not really safe. If the target that you stole the gold from kills you or gets an assist from killing you, you will lose 100% or 50% of the gold depending on what it is. So if they pretty much kill you, you will lose 100%. And if they get an assist, you will lose 50% of the gold. The penalty gold that you receive. So it's important to not really die with the idea. You gotta be careful of your health, you gotta be careful of your engages. Because when you use your second skill and jump in on someone, you're just immobilizing them. They're still going to be able to damage you. Even though you take 50% reduction once you're immobilizing someone, it's going to be really hard for you to get out unless you have like an ally. So let's say you have an ally here. So unless you're able to combo it pretty well and just like get out. Or if you want to be, you know, like the pro players right now, where they just mark someone and are smart about it and, you know, just get out like that. You're able to abuse your first and second skill and do that. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that, again, you need to know about the passive, first skill, and second skill. Now going over the ultimate. The ultimate is quite huge too, actually. She drops out a bunch of swarms containing the first and second skill. As you guys can see. The allies in the path of this, they will get health. And the enemies will take magic damage. So let me just put an ally. Actually, 
and let's move the ally here so we're gonna put the ally here and the enemy here so you heal your allies in the path of your wave and your enemies will take damage they take magic damage and then it will activate your first and second skin on them so enemy will activate the second skill you're gonna mark them with the second skill and allies you're gonna mark them with the first skill and if let's say if someone already has the first and second skill on them what you do is just refresh this so the timer for the the marking is going to be refreshed that's pretty much how it works and the more gold you have so right now i have 400 gold so let's say i just have used this all right so i have 468 gold right look at the all damage it's 831 right there right so if i just keep spamming this and get more gold let's get you get 600 gold here you will see the damage will be a lot more so you scale depending on how much gold you have so dying you know with diaria is going to be pretty bad so make sure you never die but yeah that's pretty much it um And yeah, if the enemies have bitter bond, they will be immobilized and take a bunch of damage. And if your like allies have the first skill on them, they're going to heal more and gain movement speed with the ultimate. So again, Diaria is going to be super broken coming out to Honor of Kings. And I cannot wait for her. Hopefully, uh, we're gonna get a couple of games before people figure out she's broken and she's gonna get banned every single game But that's all you needed to know guys. Hope y'all enjoyed. I will have um, You know a couple of more gameplays coming out for her um, If you guys want to see a build right here I'm gonna put up a couple of builds that have been popular in the Chinese server So if you guys want to check out Darkana and the build go ahead but yeah, excited for this year coming out on September 25th. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys the next time. Peace out, everyone. Much love.